What, what would effective consultation look like? Is it going to be sufficient to just do it through the website <laughs> and these roadshows? Um, and do you think that the proposals that have come out of MHCLG sound about right to you at this point, or do you think there's going to be lots of comments? I think there's a bit of a problem in that we've got different bits of government facing in different directions. Um, they, uh, there was well, that's a, never happened before. No, no, of course not. Clearly no, no, not. No. But we, 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 we had a um, statutory instrument introduced last October on recognised tenants associations, which everyone accepts has now made it more difficult <coughs> to form residence groups. And we have this, this uh, you know, the, 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 the work of the building safety team saying we must engage more effectively with residents. So if you've, if you've, if you've made it more difficult for them to form residence group, you know, and, <coughs> and it's absolutely true that you, know, you are not going to um, get um, the flow of information coming through this, these consultations long term. It is only going to happen because either the people who run the buildings are managing to get information across to the people who live there, or the residents themselves are ha having to, to, to helping to pass that information over. And if you don't use both of those, we're going to get inefficiencies in the system. So can I ask you directly, what's your own view then of the proposals that have come out from MHCLG so far? Do you think they're any good? I think there's more work to be done on them. More work to be 